this video will show you uh, working with uh, transfer functions. I have loaded uh, uh, tooth data set. Now, if you have a <coughs> big data, very big data, then sometimes you might want to just take a smaller section. So these uh, grid that this grid helps you to uh, select a smaller portion of your data, and then when press and then pressing F two will take you to the uh, high res mode of the of the same uh, selected uh, sub volume. So now, now let's go into the high res mode. Press function F two. Uh, this is on Mac. <coughs> And now let's play with the with the transfer function. So now I'm using shift and then left mouse button to change the size of this transfer function here. Now this is what I call as the let me just remove these markers. Now this one, this line here, this is what I call as the spine of the transfer function. Now using shift key we can move these markers together, these end markers together. Similarly using shift key and then left mouse button we can move the points horizontally, the middle point which is a part of the spine and uh, using the uh, Alt key, we can move, we can restrict the movement to vertical, uh, to horizontal, in horizontal direction. So if I remove the Alt key, we will be able to move that around anywhere. Now I am pressing Alt key. So this is moving, we are restricting the movement to only horizontal direction. And using Shift key, it is vertical direction. Okay, so now that we have got one tra or transfer function, let me show you what these numbers really mean. I'll just make this bigger so that it can be easier to see and I also increase the opacity here. Changing, moving this up and down will change the opacity of the transfer function. So if I move it down, it is low opacity. If I move it up, it's high opacity. You can also move the end markers here. You can <coughs> add colors. I'll show you how to do that. But uh, for the time being, let's concentrate on these two numbers here. Now, these two numbers control the opacity of the two endpoints of the spine. So let me change this to zero. So this one here controls the top part, and this one controls the bottom part of the spine. So. If I set it to 1, you can see it at full opacity and if I set it to 0, it is at low opacity. So the opacity changes linearly from bottom to top. It's actually the first point, uh, first spine point to the last spine point. And uh, if I change the opacity, you can see that it changes linearly. So this what this is what this value will do. Now this one here, if I change that, then it changes the for the lower uh, for the uh, initial point, first point. Okay. Now let me set it to one. Let me bring it down here, and uh, let me add a point here. Use left click to add a point, right click to remove a point, left click to add a point right click to remove point. So I have added a point and I have moved it around here. Okay. Now if I set 0 here, then it's always the first point in the spine that will be 0 and then it will be linearly, uh, it will linearly go to 1. And same thing if I do it for the other one, the point here. 
this the last point will be 0 and it will be linearly interpolated from 1 to 0. So no matter where the, your spine is, no matter how many points you have, it's always linear interpolation from the first point to the last point. Okay. So right click to remove all these points here. So I remove the point. Now suppose you have you have got a transformation that you like, but then unfortunately you uh, make some movement which adds a point. So one way is to say just remove the point or another way is to use control Z control Z to remove the point or uh, undo the last action. So control Z and then control Y to redo. So control Z and control Y to redo and control Z can do many um, undo operations. So it's not just a single last operation, but you can do many um, go back to the almost to the first transfer function. So I'm doing I'm pressing control Z and just undoing all the operations that we did. So this is how it works. So undo uh, control Z and redo control Y. Now I'm getting the help. I'll show you. So what I did was just hover over there and control H. Control H will give you help. And these are the hotkeys here. And I was using this control Z and then control Y. Okay, now let me show you what happens when we have 0 0.5 in each of these boxes. Now 0 0.5 is special in the sense that um, the, the opacity is highest in the center and then it goes down to 0 at the edges. So this is like a Gaussian, uh, Gaussian curve. So opacity is highest at the center and then it goes to zero. So this is also control Z. This is also easy to uh, useful to catch the boundaries. So this is a boundary here and so on. So 0.5 in both the boxes is is special. So put that back to one and this two. Okay, now what is the use of the sliders here? These are the sliders. Let's see what's the use of the sliders. Okay, so let's set, let me just do that. Let us set the opacity to zero here and for the bottom point. And now if I start moving the slider, you'll see that the effect of uh, opacity uh, factor changes. So what really happens is the everything below that is set to zero. Everything above this is set to one. And then all the values in between that point and that point are, um, are linearly interpolated. Now this point here on the slider meaning is the first point on the spine. That point here is the last point on the spine. So if you have if you have the spine like that and let me show you the effect of that so if I start bringing this down the effect will be so this is how you can control the the opacity um, of your transfer function. There are many ways in which you can control the opacity of your transfer function. Okay, so this is with the the plotting interface. Now let's have a look at the color opacity uh, interface. So use left mouse click to add a point. Now the point that is added will always have a color 
that is in between the in between the two points that you have uh, clicked in on so if i click close to this point here middle the color will be very closer to that this end point whereas if i click closer to this one here the color will be closer to the this point here so you can add a color and then change the opacity left click to add the color right click to remove the point left click to add color and right click to remove the point now you can remove all the points except for the two end points you can't remove the end points okay now suppose you have selected a color range that you like so for example i have got say blue here some color here another color here and say white now this is the color range that i have i have liked so suppose i want to save this in order to save press s so hover over your color opacity um, a widget and then press s it will ask you for the name that you have to give so let's say purple yellow and then save so it is saved so next time for example when you press space bar here yeah, you'll get this color gradient and then you'll see your purple color so for example if you have a rainbow color here we have got this setting press space bar and you'll get the purple color so this is how you can save and retrieve your uh, uh, color information now suppose you save this uh, uh, let's just bring it back purple yellow okay and suppose you have already saved purple color and you purple yellow now if this color or this name we see in the in the already existing list then it will ask you whether you want to replace it or not and then it, based on that it will take based on your response it will take the action so i don't want to replace it and i can go back to the original color purple and yellow color so this is how you can change the color opacity gradient as well as with the transfer function uh, plotting interface here uh, now if you want to change the color uh, change the name of your transfer function just hover over uh, your the name then press spacebar and then you can give say boundary when you give another name one you can give yet another and so on so you can have your own you can give your own names here 